lovelies. It is Thursday night. It is also a little bit of a special episode. Reason being is because it is week number 10. So we are starting our third month. And this is also our 10th episode. I just can't believe it. It has definitely flown by. I don't know how you guys feel, but it seems as if Christmas, it right after the holidays, it was like blink, boom, January was over, February was, it came and went, and now we're in March. Tonight, we're going to be taking some live callers. I do also have a few reading requests from my beloved followers. I think we're going to start with one of those. Um, and guys, I write them on index cards. I do. I usually put up a post, kind of throwing it out there. Hey, if anybody has a reading request, please write it below. And of course, you guys can follow me. I am on Facebook. The name of the page is Tower Readings by Jean Rose. It is also below. Um, we're going to start with Rita's question. And she is from the Yukon in or the town of Yukon in Oklahoma. My question is, will I receive my fin financial blessing in the month of March? I'm going to kind of switch it up to within March, okay? Um, and that way we have the full 31 days. When you do yes or no questions, with however you want to be as specific as possible, that's going to be important because that is going to have an impact on the answer. So, and then tonight, Guys, I went through my decks today and I just like organized everything. I separated the Oracle and the Tarot. Um, I put all these sister decks together, which is always exciting because, you know, for me as a collector to kind of see them stack up and like be together. It just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I turned into a total nerd. So Rita, the answer to your question, love is overall going to be a yes. Something is most definitely going to happen this month for you. I feel like it's going to be, I don't want to say like a breadcrumb trail, um, but I do feel as though there's going to be like a blessing here, a blessing there. Your first card was the seven of crystals. Now, I will forewarn you and just throw it out there. With this deck, the suits are completely changed. Um, so crystals is actually going to be the equivalent to pentacles. The next card was another card from that suit. You received the eight, followed by the Knight of Acorns, which is the equivalent to the Knight of Wands. Then you have Love, which is the lovers, and then the Moon. I definitely would encourage you not to focus on like waiting for the other shoe to drop or any of those sort of like doubtful thoughts or that negative thinking. Whatever you focus on is going to end up being what you say, and then whatever you speak will be what you manifest. You did receive both the seven and the eight from the crystal suit, also known as that pentacle suit, means the same thing. Guys, tower is a system. It does not change. Regardless as to whatever deck you are using, it doesn't matter. So with these cards being from that crystal suit, you're going to talk about investments, followed by manifestation. So things coming about, things coming forth. The third card is going to be all about movement. And thankfully, it is from that wand suit. Wands refer to resilience. They also refer to fortitude, even strength, um, you know, passion. It's a beautiful, beautiful suit. The fourth card, the lovers, I feel like that card is just going to refer to that synergy, things falling into place and working seamlessly together. Like I said before, I do feel as though it is not necessarily going to trickle in, but it's going to start small and then get bigger and bigger. The final card is the moon that is just going to remind you to avoid doubts, fears, and illusions. So, Rita, I hope that answers your question, love. Thank you so much for submitting it. I truly appreciate it. And who do we have? I think we're going to take our first caller. Hey, Louise. Love, you are from Toronto? I am. Can you hear that me okay? I sure can. Can you hear me good? Yeah, I can. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing better tonight. I'm feeling better. There's been a, a lot going on in a short time. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, I've just come to terms with there's a lot of things just sort of out of your control, I suppose. Like yes. from death, sicknesses, people in hospitals. I had a funeral today that I did live, like one of the streams. And then one I'm heading to tomorrow. And it's just been a lot. It's been a lot to deal with. And then, oh, you know, I'm worrying about my own health. Mm-hmm. So I just kind of want to know if things are going to turn around. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hopefully for the First off, my condolences better, on your losses. I'm so sorry to hear this. Oh, my goodness. Is it okay if I light candles for you after the show? I'm sorry, say that again? Is it okay if I light candles for you after the show? Oh, so light candles? Sure. Absolutely, yes. It's kind of my version of prayer. Just to kind of send you some love and light. I appreciate that. No um, I was just like, yeah. I was just wondering if anything. I, I guess I'm I'm concerned about my health. I have some upcoming tests, so I guess that's been weighing on my mind a lot. So yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, I'm trying to do all the right things. Mm-hmm. And. You know, I don't know. I still kind of wonder if it's ever enough. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I know things, just, sometimes just things. I just, I don't know. I came to a thing that there's nothing ever in our control. I have to let go of thinking I I can control any of it because I can't. If that makes any sense. No, it does. It definitely at the, does. At the same token, I, I'm still searching for some kind of answer, searching for, you know, if I'm on the right road and that kind of thing, you know? And that's completely understandable, maybe especially something. when you have, like, so many things hitting you at one time. It can be very oh. easy to become overwhelmed. I did go ahead yeah. and pull a couple of cards for you. I didn't do it in the area of health. Reason being, and yes, I do offer health readings, but those are pretty significant readings. Those are larger spreads. And unfortunately, we do not have enough time during the show to do that. So I went ahead and I I did pull five cards for you, though, and I pulled them in a general sense. Now, I know when you hear the word general, it kind of sounds like, oh, is that going to be vague? but it's anything but. All general means is that the cards are not like programmed, if you will, for just one specific area. So instead of just pulling on money or just on love, anything and everything can pop up. So the first card that we're going to- Yeah, Uh I promise you there's nothing in my hand. The first card that you received was the Ten of Feathers. That is going to be the equivalent to the Ten of Swords. Now, that card is going to be all about disappointment as well as betrayal. And that is definitely one of the energies that you are carrying around with you right now. That can be extremely taxing. And the reason why I say that is because you're going back and forth reliving those losses. Your second card was the Five of Crystals, also the equivalent to the Five of Pentacles. Some readers read reversals, like me. Some readers do not. Um, You know, I feel as though with reversals, because they have a different meaning, they definitely should be read, for one, but also they add extra depth to the reading. So with that card falling out, like I said, dealing with those losses. Make sure you're not reliving those moments, torturing yourself. You know, you don't want to stay, I don't want to say stagnant, um, but be mindful that you're not torturing yourself mentally by reliving those moments over and over. Your third card was the Queen of Crystals. Now, I will throw it out there, the Crystal Suit also known as pentacles, does correspond to the element of earth. So that's going to signify energy such as stability, balance, even feeling grounded. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to get Absolutely. to. How you're, right? How you're going to do it yeah, so is true, by turning right? over yeah. that new leaf. 
by starting that new page. Your, there was a ton of crystals. Out of five cards, three of them were from that suit. So that definitely is going to be the thing that needs to be at the forefront of your mind. That's the thing that spirit is pushing the absolute most. When you have one specific suit, be what I call kind of like the lead suit, meaning that there is the right. most of that one card, that's going to be where you want to draw your attention. Obviously, you feeling so, grounded so and having that, right? That's where you need to draw that that's, attention. That's that where I want something. to go. That's why I exactly. keep trying. So, in the you, end, kind of, you know, you want that stability. Yeah. I know. I know you do. In the end, and it's going to take a lot right. of like putting a plan together, meaning focusing on self care, maybe meditating. Now, I know those are sort of buzzwords when a reader says them, and I realize there are only mm -hmm. 24 hours in a day. It's kind of like my, it's like, oh gosh, not let pressure, right? Instant pressure. I don't mean that. If journaling is going to provide a good outlet for you, then go ahead and do that. Just be mindful to purge. Here with my so, journal. <laughs> yes, definitely journal. Because you know why you're going to purge. So I have my journal in my doubt. lap as we speak right now. Uh, I have yes! my journal in my lap as we speak. I seriously. absolutely love it. Definitely continue to do that. Yeah. That'll help. Like I said before, I will definitely light candles for you after this show. But give yourself grace. Thank you. You're so welcome and realize, and I would even in your journal, write down your accomplishments, even if they are something trivial. That way you have something to look back on and it's like, oh, wow, I did that. You want to celebrate those successes, no matter how small they are. Okay. I hope I've that helps, been love. An emotional, I've, been on a, I've been on a bit of an emotional roller coaster, so there was a day that I actually didn't have a crying moment in the morning because I, I haven't cried in so long and it yeah. seems like every morning I have a moment where I just cry. So mm -hmm. one day I was just so happy that I actually made it through without crying. I made it through till noon and I didn't cry. So I would write that down. Okay, that that sounds... Okay. Definitely right. write that it's still an accomplishment. You made it till noon. That is something that you weren't able to accomplish the day before. So that's huge. Correct. Like I said, give yourself so grace. Ten of, ten of crystals, five of crystals, queen of crystals, and the other two were? Ten of feathers. Was five. Ten of feathers. Ten of feathers. Yes, oh. that is the ten of swords. The five of crystals, okay. which is the equivalent to the five of pentacles. The queen of crystals. Right the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Crystals, Three of Pentacles, and then final card was the Seven of Acorns, which is going to refer to a hard-fought victory. So in the end, the you are not only going to be what? successful. Seven of Acorns. That's the equivalent to the Seven of Wands. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I like unique decks. <laughs> So this deck has completely all the four minor arcana suits. The titles of them are completely redone. It's the only deck that has done that that I absolutely adore. Usually when artists change out the titles of the suits, I sort of like roll my eyes and I'm like, yeah, uh, I'll pass. But this deck, I just adore. Awesome. Oh, that's yeah. Great. Thank you okay, so much. So thank I you guess so much for, for allowing me to thank you. Well, thank you very much. It's nice to know that things will turn around and that there'll be a little more stability. So Absolutely. That was good to hear. So. And definitely take care, okay? And I look forward to possibly crossing paths with you again. And that way I can get an update on how you're doing. Okay, thank you very much. No problem, love. Have a wonderful night. Okay, you too. Thanks. All right, bye-bye. Up next, we are going to have Nicole. Hey, Nicole, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Oh, my gosh. I am so sorry 
to have kept you waiting. How are you doing today? I know by you, it is Friday around noon, right? Hi. I can hear you properly then. Isn't it? By me, it is Thursday night. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So, Nicole, what are we going to be reading on today? Um, could I have a car reading? Is in um, well, is anything going to get any better in the next three six months with me? Like down the track, I've had a hard life, you know, and it's just like, is anything going to be easier, get better? Things going to change? Absolutely. Let's see. Have things kind of been like falling apart or like falling away? Um, I'm not sure. I'm just, yeah, I just, I, like, I feel like I've got someone around me all the time. Mm -hmm. Constant. I've got that gut feeling. So I just, yeah. Know, yeah, I don't know. I will say yeah, right off the bat, you did get the nine of shells. Now, Nicole, the deck I am using, if I don't know if you're familiar with tarot or not, I'm just going to forewarn you, the minor arcana suits are completely changed. I adore this deck. I think it is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I did go ahead and pull an extra card for you. So you actually received a total of six. The extra card, however, is going to be the nine of shells. That's going to be the equivalent to the nine of cups. Something that you definitely want to be aware of is not overthinking or overdoing things. So definitely second guessing yourself, kind of throw that out the window or even waiting for the other shoe to drop. When it comes down to making decisions, even if you need to decide not to decide, take things in stride, take them one day at a time. You don't have, like Rome was not built in one day. So like I said, take things one step at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself by thinking you got to get everything done and decide everything that minute. You don't. Your next card is going to be the tower. That card, or in this deck, it's labeled as the shadow. It's the equivalent to the tower. That card is going to refer to the carpet feeling like it is ripped out from underneath you. Kind of like that moment where you like gasp and it's like, what you assumed was going to work out one way totally ends up blindsiding you and works out a different way. Now, I don't see this as future. I see this either as past or even trickling into the present. Would that make sense? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, love? Well, I, I didn't hear, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're fine. I said, would that make sense to you? Like, does that? Yes, it does make sense. Too? Yes, all of it okay. does. Awesome. The Definitely. next two cards were both from what traditionally is known as that wand suit. In this deck, however, they're labeled as acorns. <laughs> the first card is going to be the seven of acorns. That card fell reversed. So with that falling reverse, it's going to refer to you having a hard time grasping those hardcore successes or those hard fought successes. It's almost like you're almost at the end of the finish line and you want to throw in the towel and give up. I will say now is going to be the time for action and not positioning or planning. So don't think about like, you know, writing out or thinking. Don't be methodical. Just kind of hit the ground running and do. Your fourth card was the nine of acorns. That card also fell reversed. And that's why I said, you know, action. It's got to be all about action. The final card was the beautiful traveler. This is the equivalent to the fool. The fool is the first card of the major arcana. Now, I know when I say the fool, some people are like, are you calling me foolish? And it's like, no, 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 no. With that card, kicking yeah. off the major arcana, that card is nothing but joy. You see, the fool has not yet been tainted by life's hurts. It's kind of getting back to even like that childlike joy 
where you don't assume the worst and you kind of see the best in everything. The fool doesn't focus on the destination. Instead, he enjoys the journey. He is all about hope. He's all about taking that leap of faith. No matter what the circumstances, no matter what is going on, he always looks to the bright side. Now, I'm not saying you have to be a positive poly 24 seven, but definitely be aware that between your thoughts and your words, you do help to manifest your own re reality to a certain degree. So you want to make okay. sure you're speaking positive. Nicole, when I, I'm in the middle of reading a book, <gasps> Nicole, they said 90% of your reality you create by manifest. I was like, oh my, I almost fell off the chair. I was like, what? <gasps> so obviously since then, I most definitely have been watching what I have been saying. But like I said, I okay. want to stress, you don't have to be a positive poly 24 seven. You're still allowed to have those bad moments or those bad days. It's just a matter of turning it around. And that's going to be where the key to the success is. That extra card, that nine of shells, is just going to remind you not to overthink things. Stay focused, especially on what you want to manifest. You definitely have the start of a few projects ahead, possibly even a few opportunities. So as they, and forgive my fur babies, but as they come forth, you definitely want to jump on them and embrace them. You know, sometimes we shy away from opportunities because we get scared and it's like you know this is daunting it's a change it's new you know what if this happens what if that happens but sometimes we need to be uncomfortable that's when and where we grow you're right everything you said you're right yeah you're true oh i'm so glad okay. does that answer your question though nicole yes you did yes you answered every question yes all of it yes you're right everything yes thank you thank very you much well. for that i appreciate it you're so welcome thank you. oh my gosh it's definitely my thank pleasure you. no problem you have thank a you wonderful night it was nice talking no to you <laughs> thank you bye-bye bye-bye well, guys, with the few minutes that we have left, I think we should go ahead and maybe do one more reading from another one of my followers. Um, if you are interested, if you like my style of reading, feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on Facebook at Tower Readings by Jean Rose, or you can follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Tarot by Jean Rose, or even on TikTok, as well as Tarot by Genius. I tried to make it as easy as possible for you guys, right? Yeah. Um, you know, Goddess knows I am not into tech. I'm not, guys. I'll I'll be transparent. I'm a tarot check. <laughs> I love cards. <laughs> so I'm definitely myself stepping outside my comfort zone. What I tell you guys, I try to put in practice myself. I'm not one of those readers that is going to spout, oh, do this, do that, and then not follow through in my own life. You know, that's not setting a good example. So I think we're going to go with Kristen from me. And her question is, will I succeed in the next chapter of my life, which is going to be school? Kristen, I am so happy for you. Congratulations. On this new endeavor i think it is absolutely incredible and i cannot wait to see where this road takes you oh my gosh i'm just so excited i think it is so amazing oh my goodness so let's go ahead oh my gosh yes 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 huh? so the first card was the ten of crystals that is going to be the equivalent to the ten of pentacles in regards to like financial aid, anything like that, even in regards to like supplies, because remember that is going to represent like money and material things. That is all going to be in the bag. They will all be supplied. The second card was the three of acorns. That's going to be the equivalent to the three of ones. Have those positive expectations. Go into it expecting for you to not only do your best, but you know that you're going to ace it. There's nothing wrong 
with expecting or wanting A's, you know? The third card, that was the shadow and it fell reversed, meaning instead of the carpet being ripped out from underneath you, things are going to fall into place. The next card was the seven of acorns. You got amazing cards. That is going to be the equivalent to the seven of wands, which is a hard fought victory. You've always wanted to go back to school. Now you have the opportunity in front of you. Not only take advantage of it, but rock it, okay? And then your final card, that was the four of shells and that card fell reversed. With that card falling reversed, you know, it's going to be busy. It's going to be, you know, I don't want to say on the constant go because I think you're going to organize your schedule really well, you know, um, and I think that you're going to have that family support as well. Like I said, definitely go into it expecting you to succeed. Don't listen to any of those like seeds of doubt, right? No, we're going to go into it with those positive expectations. Guys, if you like my style of reading, feel free to follow me. You can find me on Facebook at Tarot Readings by Jean Rose. Also, my Instagram or TikTok, which is Tarot by Jean Rose, on Friday mornings at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do go live on Facebook, so be sure to follow me there so you can catch one of my lives. Also, I am doing a spring raffle. Tickets are $5 USD or five for 20. The prize is going to be an in-depth tarot reading valued at $100. If you would like to enter, definitely reach out to me. I would love to hear from you. Guys, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you for a beautiful 10th episode. This was absolutely fantastic. Enjoy your weekend, and I will see you guys next week. Love to you all. Bye-bye.